we are discussing about applet, we have some basic idea about how to write an applet using Java syntax. So, there are many more things also to be learned so far the applet is concerned. So, today we will discuss few more concepts and in the next uh, module also we will discuss uh, more advanced concepts. So, the applet is very important one what is called the concept in Java programming and it has many applications rather and uh, so, we so will see exactly how uh, the more uh, okay, more organized way the applet can be uh, can be designed. Now, before doing that we should have some basic idea about applet. So, basic idea means what exactly an applet it is and what is its usefulness. Actually, when Java introduced into the concept uh, programming arena that time uh, it was a highly requirement that how a programming language can support internet programming. Now, so far the internet programming is concerned the basic requirement is that how a browser can browse web page. So, usually the web page written in HTML page HTML what is called the hypertext markup language. Now, HTML can includes many things here for an example uh, this is the one figure that we have shown here uh, this is basically a web page right and then in this web page if we see it contains many elements for example this is an image and this is also an image and there are some text box and there may be some link like as you see here so this is the link those are the many links uh, the this is basically the menu uh, we can say like this one so there are many elements are there. Now, out of these many elements one elements may be an applet. So, applet may be we can consider say suppose this is also an applet look like. Okay. So, this applet has its own uh, contents and it is basically serves some purpose it can okay, uh, if we click this applet or rather you can use this applet to interact to the internet this kind of concepts are there. So, basically the main purpose of the applet is for internet programming and for this internet programming we have to create an HTML page and to create the HTML page we may use some code to be executed, some programs to be executed and that code that program is called the applet program actually. So, essentially applet is for this purpose only. Now, so this is the idea about is applet. Now, for this applet programming uh, let us see how Java uh, favors us, what are the supports from the Java that we can have. Now, in Java API there is one package with the package is defined in uh, applet package. So, this Java dot applet package we rather say and there is one class called applet class. So, so in Java applet package there is a class called the applet class. So, we can use this applet class to create our applet program actually. Actually basic idea about applet class is what exactly applet class is an abstract class and it has certain predefined method those methods are also the abstract methods. So, if we have to create an applet essentially this will be basically inherited from this applet class inheritance in the sense here is that all the methods which are there in applet that is abstract methods are to be overridden here. Anyway, so this is the basic idea about writing an applet program. So, we have to import this package first, uh, this package needs to be import whenever you have to write this applet and then once this package is imported then we have to override this method. And here another one thing is that applets and the, or the general program has the different context in many sense. The different in the sense that in case of applet as you see we need some separate program for, for example, uh, for the Java application we need the Java command whereas, for applet we need uh, the separate program called applet viewer. So, the Java runtime interpreter called the Java command is not actually applicable to the applet. And and again another important thing is that Java needs to be 
okay, open or that applet program needs to be executed with the help of browser like say hot java, netscape navigator, internet explorer etcetera. So, we need in order to run the applet a browser or an applet viewer. So, this is the basic idea about uh, the uh, applets, uh, uh, applets uh, uh, and then obviously, the difference between the applets and uh, application. Now, how the applet is executed as we say there in case of applet program there is no main method or rather there is no main class as it is there in java application. And again the outputting form and applet is also totally different. So, for example, in case of java application in order to produce an output on the screen or in some file we use uh, say system dot out dot print, print ln like, but in case of applet we need draw string method which basically draw something. Essentially, applet is a graphical windows or GUI based window things where we can draw many things. So, that is why it is called the painting and applet. Anyway, regarding this painting and applet, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, many things uh, a later time. And one important thing is that apart from this applet being an window based program, one important thing is that applet is always an event driven program. So, event driven means applet is ready to view something and it can interact with the user. So, it is basically the uh, user interact with the internet, user can interact with the computer, but this is interaction through applets. So, this interaction is possible in applet using one another concept AWT, it is called the abstract windowing toolkits. So, basically applet and AWT works together. So, we cannot in fact for the actual uh, applet programs AWT and then applet cannot be uh, things in a separate way, both the things can be considered jointly. So, that is why we have to import dot uh, java dot applet dot star that means all the applet class facilities as well as we have to import java dot awt dot star that means whatever the classes those are defined in awt has to be there. Regarding awt we will discuss in details once the applet is covered. Anyway, so this is the idea about that uh, applet is basically an event driven one program. Now, what is the event driven program that can be better understood using an example. Let us have the quick look uh, to this, uh, uh, this image here and we see this is basically uh, is an applet. And actually if you see care, uh, carefully this kind of applets you see in your mobile or whatever it is here and this basically is a calculator program. That means, if we can click 7 and then 8, then plus, then 1, 2. So, this means that the result will be there. So, here you see the click, I said the click. So, mouse click 7 and 8. So, if we click 7, then basically what will happen? The 7 will be selected or it basically appear here. Similarly, 8, 8 after the 7, 8. So, 7 and 8 will be appear here plus and then 1 and then 2. If we select, then all those will be there. And then say suppose the plus this means that is an event that means we want to add whatever the previously selected plus the next will that will be going to select. So, this basically called the event driven. So, here the idea is that here the different components these are the basically the different elements in these applets can be triggered and then once the applets uh, that elements are triggered an event will be generated this is the concept of uh, event. Um, event uh, based programming. So, applet is basically an event based programming uh, uh, programming uh, concept. Now, so we have learned about that applet and it is basically is a window program a uh, graphical user based windows program and event driven uh, program actually. So, now we have to learn about how this graphical user interface based windows can be created and then how the event can be generated. So, these are the basic concepts uh, if we can learn it then our concept of learning applet will be completed. Now, before going to these things let us see what is the structure uh, and applet usually uh, it can be. Now, so applet has the some essential components. Now, as I already told you that these are the two packages to be included whenever you have to do applet programming and then uh, the next thing is that we have to create your own class that is your program 
and it should be inherited from the applet class. So, our next uh, syntax is basically uh, this one public class this is your uh, name I mean user defined name and then extends applet. So, that can be an extend uh, uh, that mean inherited uh, program. Now, next part the different methods. Now, again there are many methods are there. So, as you see here is the init method and then the start method and the stop method, then pain method, destroy method. So, these are the five standard methods that that usually occurs whenever a programmer wants to design their own applet. Now, all these method again as I told you these are the abstract method which are defined in class applet which is an abstract class. This means that we have to overwrite this method if we want to do our own applet program. So, this basically if you want to write applet program this means that you have to implement the init method, start method, stop method, pain method and destroy method. Not necessarily that all methods are mandatory, all these methods are basically optional you can use it if you need it. Now, so far so these are methods optional for an example as we see here in this example uh, this is the one applet skeleton class that we have declared here and here you see init start, stop and destroy and these are the methods basically we have just overwritten, but the there is no code is a null code actually, it is but method has overwritten even if we do not write all these method also that is also not a problem. Anyway, so these methods as you see if we run this applet as you know how to run this applet using an HTML applet code as uh, this is the applet code to run this applet and this basically uh, show an output here. So, this output if you see uh, this output if you see here this basically is a applet area and here there is no content and applet is just like a mom at, uh, applet actually it is not doing anything for us, but it is just viewed only. So, applet viewer browse it and then display it on your screen and showing that nothing is there no event no other content no other elements etcetera. So, so this way what I want to emphasize here is that the methods which we have used they are mandate they are not mandatory they are optional, but preferably if you want to have them then you should implement them properly according to your own requirement. Now, next thing is that whether all these methods should be written here and there in the applet program actually answer is yes we can write it uh, it is not necessary to write in it first then start then paint whatever it is but we can write in any order. However, the execution of all these methods follows a specific order here for example, as we have seen here the applet will be executed if you define all these methods there then in it first once the init is executed then start will be invoked and then pain method will be invoked. These are the three methods if it is defined in your applet program they should be executed in that order and finally, the stop and then destroy if they are declared in your program they should be executed in these orders. So, order is very important as we learn here and then we will give an example so that you can understand that how the order is important here. Now, okay, now let us see what is the purpose of this method init method is basically used to initialize the applet. Initialization means if you want to change the background color of the applet, style of the applet or if you want to do something prior to start the applet. So, it is basically initialization. Anyway, we will have the detailed uh, demonstration, detailed illustration of this method how they are used. Init has very uh, important uh, many uh, important applications in many applet design actually. So, we will discuss in details. Uh, whenever we will uh, uh, consider some case studies. And then finally, the stop uh, start method. So, after the init that mean uh, init method is for initialization it will not do only the initialize the applet and then start is basically starting and uh, starting an uh, execution of, of an applet. So, it is basically uh, usually called after init uh, if it is defined there and in fact, uh, it is basically call to restart an applet whenever it has been stopped. For example, you are browsing an web page where the an applet is there 
you just okay leave this web page and then come back whenever you leave this so update basically stop and when you can come back again the same update started with execution so it is basically uh, the idea about uh, this method so start method and then finally the paint now you know whatever the things that you want to include if you want so applet also help uh, 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 allow a user to draw something on the screen using the pen or cursor whatever it is so using this pen pen paint is in that sense a very versatile one method with which user can interact with the screen interface and then draw it even pen can also display some string from the user also it can include many other graphical component into your applet. So, paint is also very important, in it is very important, paint is also very important in that sense. And here is an example, uh, this example basically illustrates the execution of order, order of execution of init, start and paint method. Now, let us look at this program first, as we see here we declare one class that is the sample the name of our applet it basically extends applet and here msg is basically the message that we want to use it uh, may be a string and here you see init method this is very important here as you see what we have done here set background and this is a color dot sign that means the background of this applet is set as a cyan color and then foreground the text if you want to display within this applet it basically uh, selected as a red color and the message is initialized as ini, in, that is with the string. So, message is initialized as this string inside init. So, this is basically the init method. Now, here the start method whenever the method starts its execution it basically doing nothing only just message is basically updating that inside start. So, that means message is augmented with this plus this one and then pain method if we see the pain method doing exactly again message inside paint and then g dot draw string this is the message that already been right uh, obtained in the store in this message field and this basically print the message. Now, what is the message right now? So, whenever it is initialized, so message is initially in is in a inside in it and then whenever start is executed the same method will append it with this method and finally, whenever the paint is called the method will be again appended and the message become inside in it, then inside start and then inside paint and finally, it got there. Now, having this is the basically I mean type of the methods that we have dis discussed here, if we run this, so in it start and then paint and at automatically this way you can see the output. So, that means it shows that order of execution is first in it then start and then the pain method. So, this way the execution will takes place uh, in case of applet uh, whenever it starts its execution. Now, for the termination there are two methods are used stop and uh, uh, destroy method. So, as I told you stop method means if you want to leave this uh, uh, browser and then actually the applet will stop its execution. So, this is the basically the idea of the stop. Now, stop is basically uh, currently stop its view, but not the kill completely. So, to do it basically the destroy method is there. Once the destroy method is used in your applet program and whenever this method is invoked, this means that it will completely remove from the memory and whenever you open the browse again we have to reload it. But in case of if we do not use the destroy, stop means it will be in the memory, but not completely removed from the memory or destroyed it. So, destroy is basically completely kill the execution of an applet. Now, here is an example which basically explain how the stop method works here, but lot of things basically at this moment we will assume. Now, here we discussed one program uh, or class basically this class we have discussed here. Uh, although we do not have any idea about how this frame and everything, this frame is defined in AWT. Uh, let us assume that uh, we clear one class called the sample frame which extends a frame. Basically, frame is uh, basically one separate window that can be included in the applet or in a separately it can be uh, viewed. So, frame is basically like this, it is just we can say one sort of uh, applet window like, it is a window we can say. 
and this uh, uh, frame will basically uh, there is an event concept uh, it will take place. Okay. So, without knowing much about these things we assume that uh, there is a frame will be created and this frame will just okay, wait for some things to happen. So, this basically code will do this and this is the pain method as you see in this class this pain method whenever it is called this pain method will draw a string uh, this is in the frame window in the title uh, of the frame actually. Now, so this is the first part of this program and then the next part as you see we have to define the method that we have declared my window. So, this basically the method that is declared again this method is basically will not doing this thing only whenever a applet is started its execution it will basically display the uh, window on the screen. And then finally, uh, this is basically the applet class program and this is the main program we can say here we declare the init method, init method create a frame this is the f is the frame and then uh, this frame is initialized a frame window and then it sets size what is the size for example, this if this is the frame and this is the applet uh, this is the size of the frame and a frame window it will basically show here like this and here in this uh, this is the string I uh, basically pinned within this applet this is uh, uh, this is in applet window. Now, here in this program you see start. So, whenever this applet is run by means of applet viewer then it basically display this one and as it display this one also display frame. So, both the things will be displayed on your screen and then so start means it will do these things then it stop my is wait for you. Now, if we click this one then what will happen it basically invoke the stop method. So, stop method means it will kill it. So, it will stop that means this frame will go out and but this applet will remain it there. On the other hand if we stop this applet then what will happen. Uh, so, this is basically the entire things will go there. So, stopping a frame means only frame will go out but stopping an applet means the entire things will go out. Now, again so, this is basically the idea about that stop means it will basically close the view of this one. So, this uh, this idea says that okay, this is the use of the stop method that is there in an applet and the destroy method is basically completely removing this one. Now, here is an example again if we see. Uh, so, uh, this is a the definition of an applet class and this is that complete applet class input. Now, in this applet class if we see we the init method, the start method, stop method and destroy method. For the illustration we make all these methods very simple. It basically use one string and the string will be initialized by this one and then add item one method is basically called this all these methods basically. Now, add item method is defined here is basically take an argument of the string and it basically print the screen on the console that means user the Java console window and then it basically whatever the uh, strings are there will append it and then basically the, the just similar the message concept that is shown in the last example and repaint means it basically clean it and then paint it actually. So, this is the repaint, repaint method is basically uh, uh, clear, okay, showing the output all the time. Now, so, uh, so add item here for the start starting the applet it will whenever this method is called or the applet is executed start will be invoked automatically and then starting the applet will be showing and then then so so then the stop and then destroy will come into the play now here in the pain method so for the applet is concerned so it will basically uh, draw a rectangle and within this rectangle it will basically draw a string now let's see the output of this uh, program uh, how it look like then you can understand so it's basically whenever we start this it basically initialize the applet and starting the applet because of this add item concept it is there go to the console and also applet will be there which is not shown here anyway. So, applet will come uh, there and applet will uh, display uh, display this string on the applet area and then whenever you stop it then it will basically stop the applet and then unloading the applet means completely clearing from the memory. So, this way uh, the destroy method will uh, clear it. Now, these are the methods has many application whenever we have to have a very complex uh, the web based browsing application these are there. 
Now, other than this uh, uh, update, uh, destroy and stop, there is another two very important methods are there. They are called the update and then pain method. So, update method is basically just opposite, it is one sort of init method is basically reinitialization we can say updating the applet class. So, we can change it as an example as we see uh, if we define an update method and then we can change the background color, foreground color, we can do something like this. So, if you have initialization with some settings by means of updating we can uh, resetting sort of things are there and then this update method if you have to do it it cannot be invoked automatically in the pain method you have to call it in order to update this one. So, it is basically update in the pain method. So, it will update it and then after the updation whatever you can do in the pain method it will do it. So, update is basically uh, okay, setting changing the settings in your um, applet. Now, repaint method is uh, another example here you want to update it. Now, for an example so, suppose this is your uh, the entire applet view, this is the entire applet. Now, a particular portion I want to change it. So, suppose this portion I want to change it, but other portion will remain intact. So, whenever you are drawing some graphics or something using like paint brush and like this one, I can select it and that selected portion I can repaint it and then there something we can uh, use it. So, the repaint method is basically a not the maybe entire applet view or a particular portion of the applet view can be redrawn or repainted. So, this is the idea about the repaint method. Now, I can have an example so that we can understand how this update and repaint method works it. There is a very interesting program, uh, this program is called banner example. Now, again okay, before going to this repaint has the three different constructors. Uh, this is the one constructor without any arguments and this is another constructor it shows that which is the portion. So, is basically left top width and height. So, left top is the one portion and then width and then height that means, this amount of area that we want to do the repaint. And then another con constructor uh, it is basically uh, with some delay that means, uh, repaint and update should be used together. So, once the repaint is there then the following by the update is there. So, a time delay we can specify repaint long max delay it indicates that uh, what is the maximum number of time in milliseconds that uh, that should be that applet should wait before the update is called. So, it is basically now if you do immediately the effect cannot be seen. So, that is why some delay should be then repaint so that some view some uh, impression can be obtained here. Now, this can be better understand with an example uh, is called the banner example the idea it is that. So, suppose this is the applet uh, okay, it can be viewed here, but this is okay, fine you can run it once you run it then you will see this uh, this basically the banner will scroll it from right to left. So, it will change it a simple moving banner it will go there and then it will come here and then so this basically this text will move. So, that is the banner text we can say. Now, so do these things here you see we cannot simply use the paint and then G draw string. So, it is a static print but here actually printing will be always update, repaint and then display, update, repaint and display, update, repaint and display is a basically in a iterative method. So, that it will appear that this text is moving. So, that can be understood by means a simple program here. Let us have a quick look of the program. Uh, first we declare one applet, uh, this is a simple banner extends applet and it require thread to be executed. So, we implement runnable. So, it is a thread program also. So, applet combined with threading both the things together here. Now, here so a thread class is created T is the thread class and this is the state int. Now, so this is one boolean variable stop flag. Now, here the init method that we have declared init method is doing nothing is basically changing the background and foreground. So, as the background foreground you change like this one and then here is basically the start method that we have declared here in the start method we create the thread of this own applet. So, this thread means it will uh, run uh, independently until you stop it like. So, this basically defining the state uh, thread is basically created this is a thread means this is a thread of this applet. So, applet is thread and then stop flag is false means it is run. So, if we click some like so, so this one then stop flag will be true like. 
So, this is the first part of the uh, plate and then <coughs> then the next is basically the next portion is basically run as you, you know this is the thread program. So, thread should be accompanied with say run method this is the run method here and t dot start you know you see this start is basically starting the thread not that uh, the applet start method. So, that is a totally different as you have implements runnable. So, start will automatically that means we start the execution of thread. So, in the start method of the applet we start the thread. Then run method if you see this is the more uh, intelligent one code actually here this run method what it will do is basically here initially it will depend whatever depend mean initialize depend is there then thread will slip for 250 because some way to, to be there so that user cannot otherwise if we constantly change you cannot find that change right. So, some delay it is there. So, this is the slip means the thread will just wait without doing anything and then the character will be corrected from the message that means first character from the uh, string of the characters and then message it will basically next is the message will be obtained by completing the sub string of the next character 1 to the maximum 1. So, basically each time say suppose OL come. So, first dot character is OL then the next sub string basically after uh, preponing W. So, E L C O M E like this. So, this will basically the run method as the thread will execute. So, it will go on 1 by 1 1 by 1. So, it will take one character at a time from the front one and then uh, get the uh, uh, sub string and then sub string will be displayed the next and then again it basically update it and repent it. So, this way update repent will go on go on and the idea it is there it first is a then a will move here then simple moving will come here then this will come here and then other portion will be there and this way that that applet will start moving. So, if we run it and then we can see this actually applet gives a life to this uh, and then is a beautiful one program that you can check it. Anyway, whenever we will give the demonstration, we will show its execution. Then stop here. So, whenever stop means say suppose user select this one. So, the stop will be invoked and then stop flag is true then thread will stop and then the applet uh, that some banner will stop its execution. Anyway, so, uh, so basic idea that different methods which are there in an applet uh, like init start, stop, then paint, update, repent all these methods we have tried to give an idea about how these methods are there and whenever you run different application, different program you can innovate also different way of viewing the different applet you can see and moreover all those things also will come into great effect whenever we develop a calculator. So, we will see exactly in our demonstration how all those advanced applet can be designed and then those methods will be used to do that. So, these are the methods we have uh, discussed uh, there and uh, so ok fine. Uh, so, these are the methods the standard methods apart from the standard methods there are many more methods also can be any methods also you user can implement and add into the applet and all those things uh, we will discuss whenever we will discuss more advanced features about applet programming. Thank you.